going on? It's me, Kenny Roy. How are you? Hope you're well. It is February already. Can't believe the month has already gone by in 2015. I get emails asking about uh, internships at Arconics, and I respond and I tell them that uh, we occasionally do, normally during the summer, but we occasionally do unpaid internships. And I wanted to offer an explanation as to why uh, we do that as opposed to paid internships. Typically, I get a response that uh, the uh, students aren't able to take an unpaid internship because they get uh, you know they, they have living expenses and they need to make money and et cetera et cetera et cetera. But I, I thought I would explain um, kind of uh, what the whole issue is at least in California, but I, I, I think it applies everywhere else. Uh, the in terms of whether you should be looking for internships that are paid or unpaid or whatever, there's obviously a lot of information out there as to whether these are actually career building or not. And the the fact is is that the most of the, the, the reputable companies, like the large companies, DreamWorks, Disney, Pixar, Blue Sky, those kinds of internship programs, sometimes they call them apprenticeship programs, whatever they are, whether they're paid or unpaid, if it's at a very big reputable company, normally what they're doing is trying to actually talent search. They're trying to get the uh, best and brightest to come in, uh, show off what they can do, and you're not working on any production uh, materials. You're not actually working on shots. You're not working on shows or films. You're just going through there. It's almost like a curriculum. Um, and so, sometimes they pay. Uh, a lot of them do pay at those larger reputable companies. But um, even at the sort of the s semi smaller reputable companies, uh, they might be paid or not. But here's here's where it gets a little bit interesting. If it's unpaid, then at least in California, there are a strict set of rules that they the company has to abide by. They have to be providing more value to you than they're getting out of you, and you cannot displace a normal worker, a, a normal salaried employee, you can't be doing the work that they would be doing. Okay, So that is the very strict rule that governs unpaid internships, at least in California. Why that is in place is obviously to make it so that they are responsible for actually providing a learning experience for you and giving you a lot of valuable tools and workflows and resources that you can uh, get a job with. And hopefully, maybe if you uh, really kick total butt at, at, at that company, you will be hired on after that at a competitive rate. Where it gets really, really crappy is where there are companies that offer paid internships normally it amounts in, in animation and visual effects, it amounts to little more than slave labor. Because what they do is they say like, okay, well we can't have them work on the, I mean we would have them work on the stuff if they were uh, unpaid if we could, but we can't just, I mean we just don't want to spend a lot of money doing these menial tasks. Uh, uh, you, you know, animation cleanup, um, those kinds of things. and. Well, so what they'll do is they'll say like, okay, well, in instead of paying somebody, you know, a competitive rate, we'll just call this an internship, pay them minimum wage, and we'll get the work done and we'll make a ton of money, you know, on this, on this, uh, these menial tasks that, uh, that we have to do here at, at the studio. And that's obviously wrong. That's, that's no good. So it's my feeling that a company that is offering an unpaid internship, at least in California, and if they're doing it right, it's actually more value to you than a paid internship. Because again, at the end of that summer or however long it is, if you've just been doing just like, you know, animating like the, the tips of, 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 of people's fingers and, and whatever, that company is not actually looking at you excited about your progress, excited about how you're growing as an animator and a storyteller and is gonna hire you at the end of the summer. They just needed to get that crap done. And you can't take basically anything that you learned on that internship and put it on a demo reel. You can't, uh, you, you probably won't be actually learning anything and, and uh, you know, you won't be a better animator for it. So really, I, I actually think that if you're going to line up and you're going to judge like what, what is the best value if you are out of school, it would actually be, number one would be a... Um, unpaid internship at a reputable company that has a 
curriculum basically um, set up. Think about it like this. Think about it that you are lucky enough to get to continue your education for free because you're not working for them. You're not doing anything that they're making money on if, if they are reputable, okay? So it's not as if you're working for free. You're, you're finishing your education, you're getting that production experience. Hopefully if it's a company that you wanna work for, they would hire you at a competitive rate at the end of it. Um, but an unpaid internship, because it has that, those rules that govern what you're allowed to do and that they have to actually give you more value than they're getting out of you. Um, it is is much more career building. My career started with an unta- unpaid internship, okay, and that was and that was huge for me. And uh, it basically, if I hadn't had that, it basically would have I completely different makeup of my career, uh, uh, for sure. So, um, so yeah. So uh, th- next after that would be a. Um, would be a paid internship, but at like a major um, studio. So like DreamWorks, Pixar, Disney, whatever. Obviously there it's talent searching again, but you're sure that they're paying you kind of almost because they just want to make sure that you can live, you know, live during the summer that you're, 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 you're there. But last and lowest on the list should be paid internships at small companies because one more time, it's minimum wage for a job that they would have to pay a competitive rate for. They're not interested in your education. They're not interested in making you a better storyteller or an animator. They're just, they just have some, you know, some mindless crap that they need done and they don't want to pay for it. Okay. So uh, anyway, that's my, uh, that's my opinion on it. And so if you're looking for, uh, you're looking around and talking to companies and whatever, bear that in mind. And Uh, My advice would be to ask a company that has an internship program, what does it entail? They should be able to, if they've run it for a while and they know what's, you know, what's a part of it, they should be able to tell you exactly like what kind of stuff you're going to be doing. And if they just kind of say like, oh, well, you'll come in and, you know, kind of see how things work and whatever, you're basically, you're not going to get much out of that. Even at like a studio that you think a lot goes on and you can learn a lot from the process, you're probably going to be, you know, taking out the garbage and and, and doing those kinds of things, not not really learning and growing and, and whatever. So just be very careful, very, very, very careful when you're looking around uh, to get a little bit of a boost in your career um, and, and the word internship comes up. If it's paid, I would be extremely worried, okay? I would be extremely worried. So that's my advice. Uh, I hope you take that uh, uh, to heart. Uh, and I just want to say another thing. Uh, I, I agree. Um, Steven Silver is fantastic. That guy, I mean, he really looks out for students. And he's, he's a huge advocate for, for, you know, sticking up for yourself and getting paid for work. Um, I would say that uh, uh, you should also be watching his videos. He does great stuff. And uh, the advice he gives about, uh, you know, protecting yourself and, 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 and breaking into this industry and, and doing the right things that you need to in order to get paid for your work. Um, is also great advice, but um, that it, it it's a little bit of a more of a gray area where those overlap with internships and, and getting paid. Okay, so um, anyway, that's my advice. Take it, take it or leave it. Uh, I'm Kenny Roy. Good luck with your animation. As always, rock on.